Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. Today we read about the parable of the two sons. And this parable has a lot had a lot of application to the people that Jesus was speaking to originally, but also has application to us as well. Uh, this is a parable where Jesus speaks of a father who tells his son to go work in the vineyard. And the son says, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, but eventually he goes out and he actually does what his father asked him to do. The second son, he tells the same thing too. He says, go work in the vineyard. And the son says, I'll go. And never actually makes it out to the vineyard to work. And Jesus asks, he says, which one did the will of the father? And, and the obvious answer is the first one, the one who actually went and worked in the vineyard. And then he concludes by saying, Truly I say to you that the tax collectors and prostitutes will get into the kingdom of God before you. For John came to you in the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and prostitutes did believe him, and you seeing this did not even feel remorse afterward so as to believe him. So the religious leaders there, you know, uh, didn't listen to or really um, participate in this call to repentance that John the Baptist had, but the sinners, the prostitutes, the uh, tax collectors, they did. They heard the call to repent. They came to John and they were baptized and repented of their sins. So he's saying those people, the ones that you look down on and despise, uh, have a better or actually more obedient to the Lord than you guys are, even though you think that you're so righteous. And that's kind of the main point of the parable. Now, the application for us as believers, as Christians, uh, really falls on that uh, second son where he says, I will serve, but then he did not go. He was told to go out and work in the vineyard. He said he would, but he didn't go. And I think that really um, is typical of many good intentioned uh, believers in Jesus Christ. You know, we go to church services on Sunday morning, we hear a message from God's word and we're like, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, we definitely agree with what uh, the preacher is saying. Uh, he, he maybe admonishes us or encourages us into some type of action. And we say, yeah, that's great. I want to get involved in that. I want to do that. And then Monday comes and or Tuesday comes. And before we know it, uh, we kind of fall back into our old routine. We get back into our old habits. And before we know it, we've completely forgotten what we've heard from God's Word on Sunday. And we're just back to living life as it was before. And this is something we got to guard ourselves against. This can also happen to us even though we're involved in a daily reading here on our daily encounter. It might be that we get into the Word and we read the Word. We do our daily portion of the Word and the Word has something that challenges us, that tells us, you know, we need to take this course of action or we need to cease this other course of action. And maybe while we're reading it, we're like, yeah, this is the word of God. I need to listen to this. But then as the day goes on, once again, we just fall back into our old habits and we basically carry on with life as we did before. Uh, this is something that is very easy to do. And sometimes we can do it unintentionally. Uh, we're not purposely disobeying the word. We're not purposely neglecting what we've been encouraged to do. We just simply uh, get distracted and get involved in life and we forget uh, what we have been taught to do. So we need to guard ourselves against this. And some of the ways that we can do this is by reminding ourselves uh, constantly throughout the day of what our true purpose is here on this earth. Uh, and the best way to remind yourself of that is to go to the Lord in prayer. Uh, one is to, of course, return back to the Word. Uh, whatever your daily reading is, don't just read it in the morning and then forget about it. Return to it and, and remind yourself. But also prayer, engaging in prayer with the Lord is another way to keep your, your mind focused on Him. And reminding yourself about what life is all about. Worshiping the Lord. Uh, you know, just engaging in worship whether that be in song or in prayer or in some other way. Uh, just do whatever we can to get back to the Lord and to center ourselves back on Him again. And that will help us to stay focused, to, to remember the things that we've learned, and then to be able to put them into practice. 
So that's our encouragement today. Uh, many of you, I'm sure, heard a message from the Word yesterday uh, as you either went to church or you watched it on live stream. However you were capable, to, uh, capable of listening to God's Word, you heard a message and most likely you probably agreed with what was said. Spend today remembering what you heard yesterday and make it a, make it a purpose to or make a purpose a purpose to put it into practice today and figure out ways to not forget but to engage in those things that just yesterday you were agreeing with and, and thought was a great idea and the same thing with our work with the word as we talked about before read the word digest it think about it remind yourself of it put it into practice that's the way that God's word will have a transforming power in our lives. I think it'll be very helpful for us in that way. So that guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.